There are two new events that launched inside of Diablo Immortal today. We're going to be diving into those, both talking about why you should play them, what rewards you get for playing them, as well as playing them ourselves and diving into it to have some fun. So let's start out really quickly with some of the changes that are coming to one of these events. I'm talking about here, Survivor's Bane. As you can see right here, we do have the developer's note giving us all different rewards in a different reward system, as well as a bunch of different upgraded things, upgraded attacks. So essentially, all of the attacks have been upgraded. Now, something cool here is, I've never done this as the Necromancer. I've always played as the Barbarian. So today I'm gonna test it out for the first time with my Necro and see if I like Survivor's Bane as much as a Necromancer as I did as a Barbarian. That will be left to be said. Also, let's keep in mind the new PVP mode that's coming to the game. That's coming on the 26th, which is only three days away from today. I'm looking forward to that. Alley of Blood is back inside of the game this morning. We'll look at that as well. Fire Before Darkness, just a reward event, comes to the game tomorrow. All Clans on Deck is on March 2nd, and that's really it. The rest of what we're focusing on today is right within here, inside of the game itself. So let's first look at the rewards that we can get from doing the new events. Come on over to events, and we're going to just take a look in here. So Survivor's Bane is the one that I really want to focus on because it had all of the changes coming. Notice you can get some good paddle, battle pass rewards for the completed tasks. You can get a mysterious legendary set item as well, which is nice. Com uh, compete, complete five games of Survivor's Bane in the week. It's easy, especially when you do the early stages, the quick games. That's a great way to get some free battle points. 10, 15, defeat 200 enemies, 400 enemies, 600 enemies, 10 elite monsters, 20, 30 elite monsters, one boss. Reach level 20 one time. Two bosses and survivors bait. So lots of rewards. Look at this one. Defeat three bosses in a week. 80 battle point rewards right there. Very nice. Plus a good amount of gold and scrap materials as well. So the rewards for Survivor's Bane are quite good. And we're actually standing right outside of there. We're going to dive into it in a minute. In addition, Alley of Blood is back. Another PvP game mode. Or this is a PvP game mode. Unlike the others. And here... You're going to get some good stuff as well. This is uh, this is one that I actually like to do. It's a fun game mode. And I like that you can get yourself some gems from this, which is nice. Obtain one type of each normal gem will help you with your gem progression for doing that. So in my opinion, a good use of your time, of course, once you do your... Um, you do your dungeons for the day, once you do your monstrous essence, and once you make sure that you get your bounties done, you're probably going to want to do a bunch of these. Survivor's Bane is what we're going to look at right now. So we're going to jump right on in here, say hi to Kane as we pass by, and take a look at what we got over here in Survivor's Bane. What kind of options do we have? Endless mode. You have the second mode and the first one. It looks like you have to start fresh at the first mode, unlock the second, and then unlock the third. So we'll start out there and see how things go. We're entering for the first time, and again, as a necromancer, we don't need to attack. All we need to do is move around. So it looks like he just has this solo attack right there. Oh, look, it, it auto-fires where it needs to fire, too. That's quite nice. It's strong enough to take out an enemy with each strike, but man, we are not... Oh, I don't want that. Okay, I didn't want that yet. Deadly... Look, it's the same stuff. Deadly Reach, damage is increased by 50% for Bone Spear, and Channel Fury Polearm Attacks. Let's go with this because I don't like the other one. We'll get the increased damage, although we don't need it. Can I get this to go through a bunch of the enemies? There we go. Through a few enemies? There we go. Multiple kills at once is the way to go with this. We got the enhanced damage, which is nice. I don't know. I just love this game mode. Look at this. We can still do Whirl Whirlwind with a Necro, huh? How is this going to look? It's literally the same. It, it feels the same as playing with the barb. It's just you're, you're another class. So really your class doesn't matter in Survivor's Bane. You just choose the skills that you want. Multi-shot. Missile. Let's go with multi-shot. Because I think that got some extended range as well in this uh, little patch that we have here. Oh, come on now. I guess we'll go Wave of Blood. I really want to get... Wave of Blood also has some enhanced range. I want to get Whirlwind up to max. That's, in my opinion, the strongest one. There we go. Wave of Blood did a good job there. Multi-Shot's doing all right, too. 
and Whirlwind just ripping through. Boom. Instant skill. It's not letting me go. Um, we'll go with Bone Spear. I don't like Deadly Reach, and I don't really need another single target attack. Condemn? Ooh, we'll go with a Golem. Smash ground damage. Let's go with the Golem. Golem is just going to kind of let things target that and keep me protected. And then I can Whirlwind up into him once I get there. I'm waiting to get an upgrade to Whirlwind. That's that's my plan here. Uh, this game mode is surprisingly addictive. It really is a ton of fun. We're going to go up with our Bone Spear, preparing for a boss. Remember, we are in an early stage of this game. Like, this is, this is round one, the first level. It's not like I'm going to be able to max out anything. Things don't get too difficult too quickly. We got a 100 kill massacre going on right now. Here comes some more enemies incoming. Going to try and just stay out of their way. And we did. Wave of blood. The golem is doing work over there, by the way. Uh, what? Ooh, spinning shield. Remember, that's going to give us the ability to heal if we could level it up enough, which we probably won't be able to do in this match. But when we progress forward, it's good practice to get something that can heal you as time goes on. Speaking of healing, it wouldn't be a bad idea if I went and found myself a little healing pod. There's one. Good. Now we're all full health. Come on now. Oh, nice. This Necro, Necro looks really good with Whirlwind. Just saying, we're going to throw another Whirlwind upgrade on it. Trying to make Whirlwind the biggest part of this attack, the primary damage dealer. And then we have our pole arm, which could be the you know, the targeted damage dealer for when the bosses are there so I could keep my distance. This is not a game mode where you play typically as a Necro, where you're launching your skills, where you're going to be trying to keep distance because really these enemies come up on you and it's hard to keep a distance, right? See, they come from all directions, unlike inside of the normal game. So you're not really playing as your class. You're playing as the skills allow you to play. We got a Conduit Globe. Let's go. We should be getting another upgrade soon. Just very rewarding to play this. Look at this. I'm running right through everything. Oh, we're going to go with the Spinning Shield. Add another one in there. It's going to give us some more range. I like to keep my distance as much as I can when it comes time for uh, boss fights. So I'm running this way because I'm trying to find myself some more um, health. We are going to go with Spinning Shield again. Damage is increased. Let's go. Oh, here's another healing pool. Exactly what I needed. Now I'm going to work my way back up. Ooh, I'm going to get the Conduit Shrine first. We're going to work our way back up. Collect some of these globes as we go. See what kind of upgrades we can get. There we are. Waiting a second, and we're going to Whirlwind right through all this. There we go. Here comes the Whirlwind. Not actually spinning. Just, just the Whirlwind itself is not me. Um, Multi-shot, Wave of Blood, damage increased... Two arrows and damage increased by 30%. We're going to go multi-shot then. We'll, we'll, we'll bust this thing up. Yeah, it's it's just surprisingly fun to do this. Definitely a different than Diablo Immortal experience. We're going to go Whirlwind. And we're about to get another one once we get enough of these globes. Which is going to be right about now. As soon as I collect all these, I believe. Oh, we're close. Oh, here's the boss. Can I get one more upgrade? I would love to. Sneak in there, grab that. Look at the golem distracting the boss. Not enough. Oh, we did get another skill. Let's go with another spinning shield. Well, let's go with bone spear because now we're at the boss. This is the final stage here. We're going to want to just do as much damage as we can. I'm a little worried because of my health. Let me run away and try and find something for health. I'm looking just for another health pod. There we go. Once I get this, I'll feel good. The healing pool, beautiful. Now we'll go find that boss again, just to ensure that we don't lose. Coming up on five minutes inside of this mode. Now we just kind of try to avoid, oh my God. Try to avoid all that mess. Because there's a lot of it. Down to 3,000. 2000 the golem just i love the golem man boom that's gonna be it right there taken down and is that it 
I think we are done right now. We are. We got some experience rewards. We got a legendary piece of gear. We got our most kills new record, of course, because it's our first one. Beautiful. Now, I know that a lot of other times when you would leave here, people wouldn't get these rewards. And in the past, you had to dive back into it to try and get those rewards. Let's see here how that worked. Survivor's Bane. It looks like I got those rewards already, so we should be good. Now, we did unlock the Ashwald Cemetery second round. I may do that. Let's first look and see what kind of rewards we got just from doing one round of Survivor's Bane. Defeat 200 enemies. That's 30 battle point progression. Claim that. Defeat 400. Another 30. Grab that. Defeat one boss. Another 30. Grab that. Look at we're progressing up top as well. Is that all we were able to do right there in one round? It looks like that is it. Did that progress my battle pass to any point of worthy? We are, look at that, we are one battle point away from another progression right there. And today it's all about the Elder Rifts. The Elder Rifts are where you're going to get it. Probably my least favorite. Um, let's, do we want to do the next round of Survivor's Bane? I think we do. I think I do. So I'm going to go into it. We're going to enter it. If you don't want to watch, I understand, but I enjoy it. So I'm going to get in here and do it. All right, we start out with the pole arm. And I'm going to try and find a health pod to keep me in a safe position here. We're going to one at a time poke away at these guys. And try and get as many blue globes as we can. Ooh, command skeletons. Yes, please. We're going to be more like a, a necro this time around. Well, there's a healing pool. Oh, it grabbed it. I didn't want it to. Look at this. Uh, multi shot. We're going to go command skeletons again. We're going to make these skeletons so strong. They may be the primary that I really focus on. Oh, we got some blues coming. We're going to go spinning shield. Because spinning shield, we're going to try to max. I think we'll have the ability to max some things out this time around. So it's going to be important for us to get the healing that we can get from spinning shield. Oh, man. Because I keep wasting these healing pools. Just running right into them. All right. These skeletons need to do a little bit of a better job for me. And I like the spinning shields because they're like boomerang-like. They'll go around in many directions. And I don't need to be precise with my shot. Ooh, the Hydra command skeletons. We will go... We'll get the command skeleton duration up again. We got another level right here. Oh my god. Command skeletons are going to be maxed. Treasure chest. Whoa. Get out of the way of that. A lot of enemies coming in. We got to take all this out. Remember, we just have the pole arm, which is not the best. Oh, God. Why did I... I didn't take too much damage from that, actually. And that's why Whirlwind is nice for when something like that comes. I could just kind of get right on top of it. Because right now, it's my pole arm, and it's the skeleton. So, there we go. Whirlwind, exactly what we needed. Now we could time it for when something like that goes down. Here we go, a little whirlwind, cut our way through, wait, wait, and as soon as whirlwind comes, we cut our way through. Boom, worked out good. Ooh, Reign of Vengeance, I like that, but Ray of Frost did get, um, got a big buff, but Reign of Vengeance is going to be just a massive damage dealer in one area. I'm going to go with the Hydra because I like the Hydra. And next, I'm going to probably either go with Whirlwind or I'm going to go with Command Skip. Ooh, range increased and damage increased. Let's go with Whirlwind just one time, just to ensure that we could have a little bit of strength there. We have a lot of damage that's dropping. I am also taking a lot of damage, so I want to find a healing pool. Whoa, that is not the direction that I want to go in. There's another upgrade. We're going to go with... An extra Hydra, or I'm going to die if I don't get out of here. We need to find health right away. That's the primary uh, focus. Where is a pod? If I don't find one, I die. Nope, that is not where I want to go. Away from them. Command skeletons are trying to keep me safe. A boss has appeared? Oh God, not her. She's tough. Where the heck is a healing pod? She's going to throw her bats at me soon, and I'm going to be in big trouble. 
there is no place for me to heal. At least with this, all the enemies are gone. At least for now. Oh, here we go. Healing pool. Beautiful. We finally found one. My God. That took a while. Oh, here are the bats I was worried about. We literally have to dodge all this, but we're going to go here and grab all these while we can. We're going to go with spinning shield. Damage increased. Be beautiful, beautiful. And then I think command skeletons are going to be important. We got a globe right here. We don't get it. Let's go with another whirlwind. Oh, there's a lot of these. This is actually perfect. And this is the good thing about having... Notice I'm not going after the boss, by the way. I'm just focused on getting all these upgrade materials. Um, command skeletons to rank five. I'd love to get one more into command skeletons before we have to engage. Because we have a boss that we have to deal with here. I'm going to get conduit. I'm going to get the treasure chest. And we're going to go into battle. I think I'm, I'm healthy enough. Where is the boss? Oh, she's down below. Oh, nice. Rain Avenger. Hmm. Let's go spinning shield. We're adding another shield to the mix to keep my range here for her. Look, we got the Hydra on her as well, too. That's really good. Just trying to keep the distance. Let the Hydras do their work. Will the Hydra, though... Is it close? And oh, there we go. That's good. Get out of the way. Beautiful. Let's drop another Hydra, some skeletons. We're taking her down, and it's not even because of me being up on her with Whirlwind. It's just the Hydras and Skeletons doing what they do. Did we just get a piece of equipment? Oh, nice. Cooldowns reduced by 15%. Cooldowns reduced by 15%. Experience Globe grant 50% more experience, but disappear. Let's go with that one right there. Stay out of her way. Is anything else coming from her, or is she done? Good. Now, oh, is this a chest or something? I forget what this was. We're going to get our skeletons, our hydras. We're going to get... Oh, yeah, this is nice. Forgot about that. This will just clear all, all the things in the zone. Yellow, can we get him out of here? Command skeletons. We upgraded them. Wait, aren't we supposed to get, like, a big buff at that point? Critical hit chance increased by 20%. Restores 5% of maximum health every second after taking no damage for 6 seconds. Oh, I love that. So if I don't take damage, I'm going to gain health? Let's go. That is a huge win right there. As long as I could stay away, I could take no damage. At least that's the idea, right? Yeah, and I'm watching my damage bar go up a bit. That's a great one. Anything that heals, in my opinion, is great. Spinning shield... Damage is increased. We're going with that. Again, we're almost at the at the rank where spinning shield is going to get us the extra... Oof. Feast of Carnage. We just got something unlocked. We're going to... Was that a treasure goblin? Look at that. A treasure goblin. Let's get him. You going to go down or what, buddy? Who's going to keep following you? Okay, the inviting to max health increased by 50%. Gain a shield every time you kill a monster using melee. Maximum health increased. Summons will explode on death. Let's gain a shield. We don't need anything exploding. Command skull skeletons. I've never gotten this before. Skeletal champions are replaced with skeletal archers and will not be attacked. I think I did get this. Skeletal champions explode five seconds after five seconds dealing... To oh man, I don't love that. I'm going to go with the archers, I guess. I actually don't love that upgrade. Well, we're doing the best that we can with what we got. We got some more materials that just dropped too. Now, things are coming close, so I need to... Oh, see this? The skeletal archers, they're just... They're, they are around me, keeping... They're staying close to me, which is good. I just took massive damage from something. I need to try and find another health globe. There it is. Healing pool. We're going right up in for it. Beautiful. We got it. See the archers? They're staying They're staying back now. They're not actually uh, doing the damage I want them to do. Range increased on spinning shield. Five to six. Next one is going to be a big upgrade for us there. So now these archers are staying back. Which are... I could kind of stay within them if things... If enemies don't get too close at least. 
At least that gives me the ability. Come on, Whirlwind. I need you to go on, Whirlwind. There we go. I snuck through. Oh, but I took damage. What do we have here? Whirlwind, Spinning Shield. We got to choose the upgrade. Catching the shield will create a shockwave that damages enemies. Catching the shield will heal you. That's what we wanted right there. We're going to just catch our shield and get those heals. That's how we have to do this. Where the, where's the shield? Come on back. We'll catch that bad boy and we'll heal ourselves up. Boom, boom. Now I have to go and try and get some of these globes because I am completely surrounded in them. And Whirlwind, we're going to go increase the damage there as well, which is nice. All right, a boss appeared. This is great. Check this out. We're going to be able to grab all this. Get another experience right there. Mm. We'll go with Whirlwind damage. Uh-oh. I'm stuck. We got another upgrade. Oh, my God. Hydra, because the Hydra is going to be really good against this boss right here. We're going to drop our Hydras and let them just do that damage. There we go. Man, addictingly fun. And look at the arches going ham right there. And I'm just going to come back here and collect all this mess that we left before. Try not to get hit. Um, Hydra again. And I'm only going Hydra because I want to make sure that this boss goes down. That is the plan. There we go. She can deal a lot of damage if we get hit. Oh! Whirlwind Durate. Can we get a another Whirlwind thing as well? Plus, we got another piece of gear here. Elemental effect chance increased. Damage to enemies is greater the farther away you are. Barbarian skills deal freeze damage. Let's go with the further we are away. The more damage they do. That seems smart. Is that the end of it? Nope, we got more. We got more incoming and we're ready for it. Oh, this is, there's some yellows here. They're going to cause problems. Remember, we got to catch our shield if we want to heal. Or we can heal if we don't get hit for six seconds. Two different ways to heal right now, at least. And, of course, finding pods. Which they are never something we could rely on. Hydra, we'll go in again. More damage with the Hydras. Oh my god, there's a lot incoming. And they got this yellow right on top of me here. I am able to heal myself up a bit, which is great. There's another upgrade. Woo, we're going with the Hydra again. I, I don't I can't believe I'm investing in the Hydra. But look at them. Look at the number of Hydra we have out there. They are doing a good amount of damage. I'm trying to stay close enough to whirlwind damage these guys. We're about to take down that yellow. And he's down. Beautiful. We're going to get something from it. A piece of equipment. Da da damage increased by 15%. After the 10th attack against you, a slow, slowing field will appear for 6 seconds and repel all enemies around you. Lock projectiles and reduce movement speed. Let's go with that one. I like that. Let's try it out. Let's see how it works. I just want to make my way upward. We go another level. Whirlwind, choosing it. Damage becomes lightning damage and has a chance to heal you. Pfft, yes. Look at this. Another way to heal. And now we can whirlwind and heal. And we're going to get upgrades as we get all of these as well. We're going to go with the Hydra max upgrade. Hydra now deals lightning damage and has critical hit chance increased. Let's go here. Boom. Let's get that lightning damage from the Hydras. Love that. And I'm getting so many. We're going to go Reign of Vengeance upgrade. I think we're going to be able to upgrade everything up to max if we want to at this point. We're going Reign of Vengeance again. So many globes. And remember, we have those Hydra out. They're now dealing the electric damage as well. Reign of Vengeance again. We do have some blues we got to deal with. They deal just a little bit more damage to us. But again, Whirlwind heals us. Spinning Shield heals us. We have a 5% heal just from our normal attack. We just got Elite Hunter as well, which is another type of achievement here. Maybe another reward. Damage increased again by multi by uh, Reign of Vengeance, which I love. Anything that's just AoE is great. And another one, we're going to go right there. So Reign of Vengeance is at max level before we can actually get any extra buff from it. That we're going to get right here. Choose the upgrade. 30% chance to stun enemies. Duration is extended by once. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna extend the duration. 
every time an enemy dies, let's go. That seems like it could last endless. Endless last. Health is still looking good. Remember, we're getting heals if we happen to catch our shield. We're getting heals if we, when we whirlwind. We're getting heals for just doing regular damage. So I think right now we are sitting really good, unless if we have a massive attack come upon us and get struck all at once, we're looking pretty good at getting our heals on. And we got a lot more blue globes right here. We're getting more spears. These spears are gonna be more damaging. We're gonna get more of them and we're gonna be just an elite monster. Well, there's a boss. That's the boss we gotta deal with right there. I'm just gonna kinda try and stay around and summon a few of my, uh... we took a hit there. I want to try to summon a few of my, what are they, Hydra. Because if I can get the Hydra, they will attack no matter how far away I am from the boss. There we go. Look at the Hydra on the boss right there. Trying to stay out of my way. I'm going to go here as well. Get that and then move. Boss incoming. Remember those archers are dropping damage too? And we got it done. Again, more rewards. Another legendary piece. More experience. All of this stuff. Let's leave, and let's... That's awesome. I wonder... I'm going to see. Let's check really quickly to see... Oh, look at the achievements. Oh, yeah, I remember these. I forgot about these, too. We'll collect these achievements as we go in. Boom, killing monsters. Elite Hunter. These are some of the achievements that we got along the way. Plus, there's more for all the different stuff. Just super casual, super fun experience. And let's see. Do we get more stuff over here? Survivor's Bane, 600 enemies. That's going to be a battle pass progression right there. We got to defeat 10 elite monsters. Boom. 20. Boom. 20. Reach level 20 one time in a week. Got that. Defeat two bosses. Here it is. 80 progression in battle pass. That's a crazy reward. We just jumped up another battle pass level from that. And another three bosses in a week. I don't know that I've seen rewards as easy to collect as these notice we got the top ones as well so on our battle pass remember we aren't collecting everything for the week we're still saving this stuff until monday um yet we're still able to progress our battle pass just from that we were able to get two levels get some of this some aspirant keys we're gonna come over here for the lego and oh choice hmm what do i typically like to go with now i'm going with the Taloric pearls because i'm getting fervent fang from my uh, Boon of Plenty. So we don't need that as much. Taloric Pearls are what we will take there as our choice at level 20, which honestly brings me to, I think, I think that's 39 Taloric Pearls. We're sitting at 39 right here. We need one more, which will essentially be on Monday from the vendor, and we'll be able to craft ourselves another legendary gem. That's a five-star, most likely a blood-soaked jade to aid in the growth of that gem that's what's going on inside of the game today i clearly was having fun with survivor's bane and would recommend that you get in there too based off the rewards that we just got there it's not crazy hard next i'm going to do the endless mode at some point today and try and collect the rest of the rewards that i can get from the event that dropped in the game at least clear out all the events make sure you get those rewards take advantage and i'll see you guys back here tomorrow with another diablo immortal video